What up guys, Rail Controlled Chaos here again. Um, there's been some developments going on in the studio, so I'm sorry for certain kind of backgrounds you guys are not used to. Uh, I'm getting new electronics into the studio. I've gotten a lot of new stuff in and I'm excited to use it. My videos are going to come out a lot more clearer, so that means 1080p videos. Uh, if a couple of you guys are not familiar with that, it means you're just going to get a really high def uh, footage. Uh, the problem is with my videos is that I have some nice videos, uh, nice uh, camera to take videos, but I don't have the proper uh, editing software to make it look gorgeous. So basically, I've been working with that. I've been getting new stuff in. Uh, I've been working on that. That's why you can see the background's kind of different because I've been working on that type of stuff. But um, I was able to go out to RCX this weekend. Now, if you are a true hobbyist and true RC guy, you know uh, when Hobby X is, uh, Harvey, ha, <laughs> Hobby X, <laughs> my bad, you know when RC X comes around every year because it's the main time that everybody wants to go out to get good deals and look at the new stuff and talk to product, uh, talk to, uh, um, you know, vendors and see different products and brand new products and stuff like that. So I was, unfor I was uh, fortunate enough to go out there uh, this weekend, uh, get some views on, uh, some new products, uh, some insight deals and stuff like that. I uh, got some products. I did end up buying a car, All right? So, of course, you have to buy a car when you go to RCX. I mean, it's just religious. You have to. Um, <laughs> you gotta buy something. Um, no, but I bought a car, um, and I'm gonna give you guys a clue on it. You, I'll unveil it on Thursday a video. On Thursday's video, it is a. Um, there's a new different type of brand I'm going with. Um, they've been, they look like they've been doing good so far. They've been making some quality parts uh, for what it looks like. Um, a lot of good reviews about them. Um, it starts with a V, as in Victor. So V as in Victor. Now, if you can guess this company's name that I'm going with, you will win a uh, free decal sheet. Um, if you uh, put the first one to post it on the bottom of the uh, comment section of this video will win a free decal sheet uh, another thing too uh, with that um, there's only three chances to win so the first three people that uh, pick it first uh, I will uh, reveal your names on Thursday and I will send out your decal sheets but you guys gotta email me uh, when I contact you about that again I'll go into detail with that on Thursday's video um, but three people can win and again, the car company starts with a V. So, that's that. Another thing too, as you may see, there's a bag. Well, the bag means I bought something, obviously. So what did I basically buy? I bought a car and I bought a bunch of perks. Um, of course, me going out there, I passed out a bunch of my business cards, showing off different things that I do, my hobby channel, and uh, a YouTube channel, and my um, hobby YouTube channel. And my, uh, you know, my other side business, which is making custom cars and doing um, just other work like soldering and stuff like that. Um, the thing happened with me was this weekend was kind of different for me. I was either going to go to my friend's racing event, which is a like all day, all night event. It starts on Saturday, 8 in the morning, all the way to three in the morning on a freaking Sunday all day racing non-stop like almost 17 hours insane I was gonna go with him I was gonna help him out but RCX came in the middle of it I said you know what I gotta go he said go ahead if you see anything nice buy it for me I'll pay you back so kind of worked out for us don't know what happened to his race because um, I haven't got to contact him yet I'm probably gonna do that after this video so you can see what happened Hopefully he won, but uh, that was a, a OCRC Raceway uh, here in California, in Orange. There's our racetrack where they do that. Uh, it's a pretty popular deal for racers. Um, basically, when I got my bag, get the bag off the counter. Um, got a bunch of uh, you know, different flyers guys handing me out, uh, but I got to talk to Team Deacon about uh, my Traxxas Summit idea and um, gave me some good insight about it. 
what kind of motors to go with. And, um, you know, one of the guys were telling me about how he can hook me up with that, but he says, why do you want to go with two motors? I was trying to explain to him, like, why not? <laughs> how cool would that be to go with two motors and stuff? You know, different handouts. Uh, Team Associated, that's my next uh, car I'm going to go with, probably a 44.2B. Um, the actual guy who runs the 44.2B, uh, Andy, I left my business card with him. He was going to contact me back about uh, his different type of setup, how he was going to hook me up with one, um, and how he felt about the car. He basically gave me like insight, detailed um, review about the car that usually uh, team associated people or hobby shop guys will not give you because they haven't experienced it. Um, that's kind of cool. Another thing going to RCX, you can, you can talk to people like that. A lot of professional guys out there, a lot of stuff. So, you know, anyways, with that. But no, the Team Teaking guy, he told me that he goes, you don't need to run two motors. He goes, if you run motor one motor with a high KV, you'll be ripping it up. Um, and you just have fun. So, again, that's in the decision. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll figure it out as we go. Probably put one motor in it if I like it. I'll keep it. If it doesn't work out, I'll put two motors. Or I'll just put two motors just to see how it runs. And then take the one motor out and put another car. Um, different thing like that. Of course, Traxxas was there. I mean, they had to be there. I mean, it's RCX. They're everywhere. Traxxas is like the number one brand to see it. And it's funny because the second, uh, the day before um, uh, RCX, I actually saw a Kyosho. Um, commercial on TV, which was insane. It was for a Formula 1 car. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I've never seen Kyosho there. Uh, of course, Kyosho was at RCX. Um, let's see what else we got. Again, another team associate. They just handed me out. I mean, I'm just taking out the junk that's in this. Another team associate. Okay. Wow. What about team associate? And another team associate. What the hell? Uh, but yeah, these are just the crap I had in my bag. I'm actually getting to the good stuff now. Now here's the stuff I bought. Now when I was there, I walked to a uh, different booths, of course, looking around, passing out my business cards and uh, stuff like that. But while I was there, I found uh, new companies and old companies. And the new company I found is called My Trick RC. If I could focus on that. But My Trick RC is basically a mom and pop shop. It's a husband with, uh, it's a, it's a good guy, he's a good guy, um, his name's Dan, uh, he runs the business with his wife and daughter, um, he basically does a lot of custom RC, uh, lights, um, a lot of detailed stuff like that, how to make your car look the next level in detailing and things like that, he does drifters and stuff like that too, he does some really nice light kits and really detailed bodies. So he's a good guy to check out. He also runs with a company called MST. And now a bunch of you guys have been telling me about if you want to go into serious drifting, a serious style drifting where you see the mad drifters and drift mission, which was also there, how they have certain type of uh, camber angles and stuff on our cars and making it look so realistic. They use products like MST. MST is like the, um, like number one kept secret for drifting so if you really want to go into scale drifting MST is the place to check it out they have such insane detailed wheels these wheels you're looking at them and you're like okay that's like a zero offset right or three millimeter offset this is actually an eight it's an eight millimeter offset which is an awkward size because usually you go down to the hobby store and they only give you uh, three six or nine you choose from there they go up to eight, they go up to five, they go up to four, two, they give you all the different numbers you want. These things are sick. And plus, they're cheap. This, all four sets of these wheels and stylish um, and freaking cool looking scale features for only 14 bucks. So of course, like me, I have a lot of drifters. They also make chassis too and bodies. I bought four sets, uh, three sets. Of four, so these are another one. These are more like a muscle car or BMW type of looking wheel. This is more like a actual like Nis Nissan and uh, Nismo and different things like that. Uh, Nissan uh, wheels. 
I just, you know, just trying to match the cards with what I have. Um, let's see. Got the got the same wheels in black, matte black. They have really nice finishes on them. Uh, and they're all, I think the all 8 millimeter. I actually want a couple 8 and a couple 6, but in the chaos that was there, he gave me all 8, but there's no big deal for that. I mean, it'll still work. Um, I also got a chance to buy a new battery for me from hardparts.com. Sky Lifeboat. It was like $19.99 for a two cell and I couldn't beat it. But um, this is a pretty big box. This is the first time I'm un unboxing it, so. Okay, yeah, this is a big battery. This is this is not the battery I purchased. Um, oh, this is a three cell. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I, okay, what happened here is just kind of weird. I purchased a two cell little thin pack. Uh, uh, like 5,000 milliamp uh, 70C uh, discharge LiPo battery too so uh, for $19.99 and uh, the guy handed me a box I guess during the time he was trying to help another guy too out there's like one guy manning this one booth and I guess he gave me a 3 cell 3,300 milliamp 40C uh, which is no big deal this, was like, this one was like 70 bucks uh, I got it for $19.99, so you know what, I'm not complaining. I can always use this in my sand reel and my uh, rusher and stuff like that, so that's no big deal. Um, but sometimes you end up with screw ups like that, but it's okay, no big deal. I don't mind having a battery like that for cheap. So that's basically it. Um, I also got another cool thing from My Trick RC, or at My Trick RC. I got these cool decals, and my friends, if you see these decals, you will trip out. Put my stuff away. Let me go get my decals. All right, so I'm back. I got the decals from the back. It's in the back of my thing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these decals are actual scale features. Or scale, not scale features. Um, God, what was the word? Like to scale version miniaturized of um, from Fast and the Furious uh, Paul Walker's uh, GTR R34. So I got these and these were like 15 bucks. And so you know what this means? I'm gonna be buying a Nissan uh, GTR shell again. I think I have like three of them now. I'm gonna buy another one again. I'm just gonna paint it simple green, uh, I mean gray, and put this guy on it. It'd be awesome. The cool thing with this is you could put these inside the actual body and then spray paint so that way it's not the outside, it's inside, so it looks like it's part of the paint job. It's really cool. So, for decals like that, they come in different colors, different versions of these, so you can get different type of styles. You don't have to get this one, you can get different versions of them. like. Uh, they come in black, red, blue. Um, they also have different versions of uh, Japanese decals for like mad drifters. And that's uh, my trick RC. So check these guys out. They're really cool about uh, products. And um, I think that's basically it for this video, guys. Uh, one last thing I would like to add is a couple guys were asking me about this the other day. Um, about my sand reels um, how how the pricing goes out and basically the pricing works like this I you email me a um, you know saying oh I need a uh, you know how much it's gonna cost for a sand reel and I send you out a sand reel build sheet you circle out what you want and then you just basically either take a picture of that and send it back to me or fax it over and basically I go ahead and uh, you know go from there and I'll discuss what else we do from there of how uh, the payment goes around and how the car is made um, it's actually really cheap to get a basic model the way it works is there's two different versions of the chassis you get the two you get the two seater or you get the four seater now, the prices vary in the thickness of the metal. You can get a 3 16 inch or a 
1 8 inch. A lot of people like to go in with the 3 16 because it's smaller, it's strong, and it's lightweight. The 1 8 is just bulky, doesn't look right. You get the 3 16 inch, two door, two seater, two seater, 3 16 inch, uh, 3 16 inch, wow, that's a tongue twister, um, rod, and you come out with just the chassis primed, ready to be painted on your own. You guys paint it on your own. I don't want to deal with the headache. I've done it with so many customers, they change their paint schemes like so many times on me. I'm like, screw it, you paint it on your own. I prime it, weld it, and you do whatever you want. So basically, you use spray paint for it, or you can do like Sam Body spray paint for it. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Um, two seater, 3 16 inch rod is 150, uh, 150 bucks for just the frame. Now, if you want to get that as a kit or just the frame, you stop that for just the frame, it's 150 bucks. But for the kit version, there's three different versions of the kit. The standard, the performance, or the custom. The custom, you curse, you do whatever you want. The performance um, is the Traxxas rust or parts plastic, but it comes with the extended arms, extended, uh, you know, beefier um, knuckles and stuff like that from Proline and stuff. So it handles so much better. And then the standard, it's just plastic tracks as parts. Uh, everything's ready to go. All you need to do is throw in a um, ESC motor, radio, and servo, and you're ready to go. Uh, for the standard kit, you get wheels and tires. For the performance kit, you just get uh, just rims because you don't have tires with the. Uh, with the All right, so that's it, basically, you guys. Um, the last thing I was saying before uh, the camera just shut me off because it was full of memory card was. Um, that a couple guys were asking me about the Santa Rosa stuff, just go ahead and email me. Um, and I'll just send you a bill sheet, it's so much easier. Um, but that's basically it. As you can see, I got the decal sheet, the bag, and all the parts. You saw all that. Um, remember to enter to win the decals, uh, not, not these decals, of course, uh, different decals um, for the giveaway, which is you gotta figure out what car company I went with. Uh, from RCX it's a company that's brand new just came out um, they're pretty popular um, they're just starting to get popular a little bit um, they're good quality parts um, and they start with a V the car company starts with a V like Victor uh, if you figure that out put it in the comments below First three people win a decal, so you know, go ahead and uh, try to figure that out as soon as possible to win. Um, that's basically it, guys, for um, this video. I tried to record some stuff at RCX, but my stupid camera would not um, transfer the files over to my computer. The only thing I got is just pictures, so. I'm just going to put a little bit of clip at the end, the pictures with the music, so you guys can see what it looked like from 2014 if you didn't make it, um, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, some new products are in that pictures, and some cool stuff that came out, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, comment, subscribe, rate, uh, to all my fellows up on YouTube, um, you know who you are, later. See you guys. Swallow down your jacket sin Let it drown inside my veins The sweetest poison I could take You make it an art The way that you scar with every word But before we reach the end Strip me down